In this video, we will see um, a simple resistor LED circuit. And we're gonna again uh, use the Alice voltmeter tool to measure DC voltages. We will try to measure a uh, voltage drop across a resistor, and then we will use uh, Ohm's law to determine the current through the resistor. And if the circuit is simple enough, we can use this to compute the current through the LED as well, if we have the resistor in LED in series. So let's see if we, uh, we'll start with uh, looking at the circuit over here. You're gonna build this on the proto board. What we have here is plus five volts that is coming from the M1K board. We are also measuring that using channel A. We have a one kilo ohm resistor, that's brown, black, and red. Those are the three colors you should see on it. And we are also measuring channel B voltage between the node R1 and the red LED. We have a red LED connected between resistor R1 and ground. So that's the circuit schematic that we have over here. We are gonna to try to build that on the proto board first, make the connections between the proto board and the M1K source measurement unit, and then we'll start measuring uh, some voltages. So let's see, first uh, let's connect the plus five volts from the M1K board. So I'm gonna look for the third from the bottommost pin, that's plus five volts. And I'm gonna use a red wire just to help me track uh, the, the uh, by just looking at the color, I know that's plus five volts. It doesn't have to be red color, but I like to color code my wires. Um, I'm gonna connect resistor R1 and uh, the red LED over here at the top in series. As you can see, there are, the LED has a long lead and a short lead. The long lead indicates positive terminal or the anode. The short lead indicates negative or cathode terminal. Current through the LED only flows from positive to negative terminal. So I've connected it in such a way that the positive terminal, the long lead is connected towards the resistor and the short lead, I'm gonna eventually connect that to ground. So just a quick recap, we know that the uh, electrical connections underneath the plastic on a proto board are five at a time. So every point on this particular vertical column of five points is gonna be connected. It's essentially the same point. Um, the way we have connected the LED and resistor, because you have connected them on, in the same column of five points, they are now connected. So let's see, uh, plus five volts is gonna come and go to resistor R1. Anywhere in those remaining uh, four slots, I've connected it over there. Next, I'm also going to connect the ground. Well, before I connect the ground, let me uh, make channel A and channel B connections. So channel A, which is essentially measuring the source five volts, I'm gonna connect one end of that to channel A, or I could also connect that to A in to make a voltage measurement using channel A voltmeter. So that's the second from the top or the topmost pin, either one will work. And I'm gonna place that on my source, so uh, plus five volts. So it's gonna be the same point, uh, same column as the, the red wire there. So all those three wires now are connected, essentially resistor, one end of the resistor, the orange wire channel A, and the plus five volts, they're all connected now because I've placed them in, 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 a, in uh, all on, uh, in the same column. Uh, I need channel B between resistor and LED, so I'm gonna use a blue wire for that. One end of that, I'm gonna plug it into channel B, which is second from the bottom here. And the other end will go to the same vertical column as the LED and resistor, where the LED and resistor meet. So the blue wire is now connected. Uh, the last connection to the board is using uh, the black wire. I'm gonna make that. I have two grounds available. I can use either one of them. And I'm gonna connect that to the red LED. And as soon as you, I connected that, I saw the LED light up. I don't know if that was very clear in the video. Maybe I can make it a little bit darker here for you guys to see that that LED. So if I break the connection from ground, you will see that the light turns off. And then I'm, when I make the connection, I complete the circuit, the red LED lights up. 
Now the, the brightness of the LED is actually going to depend upon the current through the LED and uh, you are exploring that in the next experiment. So I, hopefully this, this setup uh, gives you a few uh, ideas about how, do, how you make those connections. Uh, so we have, we have completed the circuit. We have made the plus five volts, channel A, channel B, ground, all the things we have connected. We are ready to launch Alice voltmeter tool and uh, measure the two voltages for channel A and channel B. So I'm gonna use my Alice voltmeter icon on my desktop here. I'm gonna double click on that. It's going to bring up the Alice voltmeter uh, application. Right now it is, uh, not doing anything because it's in the stop mode or pause mode. Once I start running it, it is going to uh, give me the measurements. So let me go to the next slide here, which is uh, talking about experimentally determining the voltage drop across each element. I have two elements over here, R1 and the red LED. Uh, voltage drop across R1 is essentially going to be channel A minus channel B voltage because that's going to be, so channel A measurement is with respect to ground. Channel B measurement is with respect to ground. Now voltage drop across R1 is going to be channel A minus channel B. So that would be the last column over there, which will essentially give me, when I divide that value of voltage of drop across R1 divided by 1K, I can find out the current through R1. So let me let me quickly run this and see what, what happens. So right now, instead of measuring five volts on my five volt source, I'm measuring very close, 4.878 volts. So there is a little bit of calibration issue going on. I'm gonna ignore that for now. Uh, channel A measurement is 4.88 volts. Channel B is measuring 1.6587 volts. That with, that's with respect to ground. And now I, I can use, uh, these values to compute the current through R1 and current through LED. So let's see, voltage across R1 is going to be what? On one end I have channel A, on one end I have channel B. So the differential voltage over here, CAV minus CBV is gonna give me the voltage drop across R1. In this case, it's going to be what? 4.878 minus 1.65. And actually Alice Tools gives me that reading right away, 3.22 volts. So that's going to be the voltage drop across R1, 3.22 volts. Next, if I'm supplying it with 5 volts and 3.22 volts goes across R1, based on Kirchhoff's voltage law, the remaining should go across the red LED that I have. Um, and I can measure that over here by looking at uh, the schematic here. The red LED, the, the voltage drop across red LED is going to be CBV, the voltage measured by channel B minus ground, so, so zero volts. So it's essentially just going to be CBV, which is 1.6587 volts. So it requires 1.65 uh, volts to turn on an, a red LED. That's what we are observing over here. Now, if the question is, what is the current through the uh, red LED? We can find that out by actually finding the current through the resistor R1. So the current through resistor R1 is equal to the resist current through the red LED because they are in series. And the current through resistor R1 is simply going to be voltage drop across R1 divided by the value of R1. So in this case, voltage drop across R1 is CA minus CB volts, which is 3.22. The value of R1 is 1K. So the current through R1 is 3.22 milliamps, which is the same as the current through the red LED. So this is a quick way of how we can set up the circuit, make some quick voltage measurements, and also uh, use Ohm's law to uh, comment about the current through uh, an LED.